This is going to be a long, hard fight. With thousands now infected, millions of dollars are being pledged to develop treatment options for Ebola. The enemy here is a virus. Here's three avenues that have potential, but are a long way from being viable treatments. Now on the New York Times Minute. First, there's ZMAP, one of a few experimental drugs in the pipeline. It's shown the most promise. Probably by the end of this year, we will have enough information to move on to a larger clinical trial. It's made using tobacco plants, and there are only a few facilities like this one at Icon Genetics in Germany with the capacity. Investigators and company officials are trying to develop an alternative way of producing it that would allow us to have many, many more doses much more quickly. Either way, supplies are expected to be very limited. At most, a few thousand treatments by early next year. In terms of plasma, there's also a lot of movement, a lot of interest. Another treatment option is using the blood of people who have recovered from Ebola. I'm a lucky man to free from this Ebola. Survivors' blood plasma contains tiny antibodies that attack the virus and fight off an Ebola infection. The idea is that a blood transfusion could get those antibodies inside sick patients. Will it work? The WHO has said it's plausible, but some virologists doubt it does anything. The third option is a vaccine. These are trials currently underway in the UK using healthy volunteers. The vaccine itself is made using an unrelated virus from a chimpanzee as a spine that is then combined with small bits of the Ebola virus. There's no promise yet that it will even work, and if it did, it would only help people who aren't currently infected. If everything goes well again, we might be able to start to use some of these vaccines at the beginning, at the very beginning of next year. Of all these options, none are expected to be treating large numbers of patients until at least 2015.